Mid Vlogs, aka Ma's Video Vlogs. Number one, how I lost nine hundred dollars. This is how I lost nine hundred dollars. I'm not proud of it, uh, but it's something that I'm gonna have to live with. I'm, as you guys know, I'm in Sydney, Australia, and uh, I just. I just don't know what to do. Um, I thought what I was supposed to do is get a job, get a place to stay, and then do my videos. Um, but for some reason, I couldn't find a job, so I got a room. And with the room, though, um, it was a standard room. I signed a contract that I have to tell the girl uh, that I would be leaving in four weeks prior my move, moving day um, but you know I don't know when I'm gonna be moving but as soon as I moved in I felt like I was doing the same cycle that I was doing back at home in Los Angeles go to work go home go to work go home and then in between have fun but it's the same cycle and I saw it and so I got afraid uh, I didn't want to be like that again nothing wrong of being like that but it was just not for me. And I moved all across, or I moved all the way here, around the world, doing the same cycle. And I just, it hurt that I saw myself doing that again. Um, Cause all I want to do for myself that will keep me happy, even if these videos don't really go anywhere is make videos and traveling and hopefully these videos will help people. Um, so anyway, how I lost $900. Um, I, I had no income coming in, but I was paying rent, and that was a huge problem. Um, and so, luckily, I um, this hostel that I emailed contacted me, and they basically offered me a position that I could work stay so work for stay so it's like volunteering my time and so I had a tough decision because they wanted me to start this Wednesday the 28th or 27th uh, not sure what day it is to be honest and I didn't know what to do like do I stay at this house in Sydney that's in Dulwich Hills it's pretty much like the outskirts of Sydney or do I take this position in a hostel? Um, but the hostel is only two months, and I gave, and like, I'm I didn't know what to do. Like, do I take this risk and go to this hostel? But then I'm pretty sure I would lose my $900 bond, uh, which is a big deal, just because right now I'm traveling and money is an issue. And so I really needed that 900, but you know, um, I signed a contract and I have to live with it. So I kind of knew that I would lose it, but there might, there was still a little hope that I might get it back. So I decided to take the risk of going to the hostel, uh, just because I'm a risk taker. Like I don't want to, um, I don't want to do the same cycle. I, I didn't come across the world to do the same cycle. I, like I said earlier, I came to, across the world to help people make videos and to meet people and to travel. <laughs> That's why I came. I didn't come to stay in the house. So I totally, like, totally forgot. But I decided to take the hostel and I gave my roommate a two day notice, which I felt really bad. Like, I hated doing that, but like, I talked to her and I was like, hey, like if I find you someone, hopefully like it would be cool if I could get some of that money back, get some of that bond back. So then, and I thought she was cool with that. Um, so I, um, she's a really cool girl, don't get me wrong. Um, but I sent Facebook posts, I posted everywhere about this room and I tried so hard because I wanted my $900 back. Um, just because it would be like my safety 
my safe net, my safety net. Um, so I kept on sending her people, sending her people. Like I know uh, it will take some time of her day too, because she has to meet these people and like inspect. But I kept on sending her people. Like I was so determined to get my nine hundred dollars back and to help her out, because I felt so bad. Like I felt horrible that I did that to her. Um, but uh, she she chose someone that comes in October which is very unfortunate for me because that means she still keeps my bond um, but I took the risk I knew what was gonna happen but I was just very optimistic that I could get some back some money back but that didn't happen um, so now I'm sitting at the park after my first shift in the hostel and <laughs> just a normal park in the city but that's what happened uh, that's how I lost $900 it's not a good feeling I felt bad for breaking the contract but you know like I said I wasn't gonna do the same cycle and I helped her find someone but she just chose someone that will start in October and not in September so I understand um, that sucks it really it, it's hard as a traveler as much of you like if anyone else is seeing this that doesn't really know me and that's a traveler like you'll understand how money is very tight sometimes also if you're not a traveler you, you should know that money is tight um, but yeah first day of my hostel work was great I'll show you that place but hey it's all right I got $900 down but I'm not in that cycle again and I'm happy about that Okay, see ya.